Hey, I hope you're having an incredible day. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the four main reasons why I made the switch from VAPI over to retail. These four reasons are super key if you're thinking about building your own AI voice agents for other businesses, or if you're even looking to implement it for your own business. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a bonus gift absolutely free that you can plug and play so that you can get started within retail today. So the first reason is calendar integration. Now, you can see here, this is the setup for calendar integration. This is just to check availability. Now, this is essentially grabbing the day of the week, formatting the date properly, checking within my calendar for the available slots, and then formatting those slots and returning the available slots. So this is pretty complex. It took me probably a couple of hours to be able to get this working properly so that it works every single time versus on retail. They already have all of that hard work built for you. So you literally just need to come in, put in your API key and your event type ID, and you are good to go. So instead of racking your brain over how you can set this up within make.com to be able to check availability within your calendar, this comes as a pre-made feature within retail, allowing you to instantly integrate within client's calendar at a much faster pace. Now, the second point, this is a pretty big point, in my opinion, is the ability for a test LLM. So Whenever you want to test your agent to make sure that it's working properly, to make sure that the, the tool calls are executing how they should, with VAPI, you need to call the agent every single time. So every time you're calling the agent, it isn't free, it's costing you money at 12 cents a minute, using up your credits just to make sure that these calls are being executed properly versus with retail, one of the features that is pretty awesome and allows you to build a lot faster is they have a text chat. So you can talk and test your LLM just through chatting with it. It allows you to iterate faster. You can see the tool calls. You can see what's being fired off here. So if you look right here, you can see the tool that's being used, the result from that tool, you can expand and see exactly if the tools are firing properly. And the best part is, is that it's completely free to do this. So you're not wasting credits as you try to refine and build your agent so that it's ready to plug into your client's business. Now, the third thing that I want to talk about is SIP trunk integration. So a lot of clients, they have existing telephony providers. They don't want to switch to Twilio. And as a result of that, when you start building voice agents, you'll very quickly see that you need to do something called SIP trunking. Now, I have another video that explains exactly what this is if you're looking for more information on that but it's essentially connecting you to a, a different telephony provider so that your AI agent can connect and have conversation. And so with VAPI, the two that they have natively integrated are Twilio and Vonage. But when you want to do some more complex SIP trunk integration, they do have documentation. There's no real videos on it. And anytime you have any issues, I've seen an average turnaround time of around three days to get responses. And when you have clients that are relying on you, this doesn't really work. Now, the cool thing about retail is they do have pretty similar documentation to VAPI, but I think that the way that they've set up their business is a SIP trunk integration first, because they realize that a lot of businesses are already on different telephony providers. They don't want to make the switch. They want to maintain their existing phone number. And so really they support any telephony system. They have really clear documentation. I was able to get mine up and running in around you know, five to 10 minutes. And for any issues that I did have within the next day or same day, I had a response with how I could fix any issues that I had. And then lastly, the, the last point I want to touch on is multi-state agents. Now, this is the main reason why I made the switch. So I had a client who had a pretty complex setup in terms of the sequence of events that needed to be achieved. And it just wasn't reliable with one singular system prompt. And because of this, we needed to look into multi-state agents. Now, VAPI calls this blocks or squads, which is the ability to have multiple agents work together. And the reason this is important is because if you have too big of a system prompt, what ends up happening is it doesn't always follow the sequence of events properly. So let's say in the case of my client, one of the questions was if they rent or own their home. So let's say you were to be the homeowner, it would then go to the next step and that next step was to see if they rent or own their water heater. But now if you were to say that you rent your water heater, it would sometimes get confused and go back to the previous step where it thought you were still talking about if you're the homeowner. And so that's why it's super important to have multiple states 
within your agent, where retail excels, in my opinion, especially if you don't have coding experience, you can build different states and each state has a specific prompt that is much smaller. So instead of you having this long system prompt, which is going to increase your cost per minute, you can have a much shorter prompt that is broken down into multiple steps. You can see here, I checked the home ownership and once that stage has been passed, it goes to the next step. And then that next step is when we check if they rent or own their water heater. And once we did this, our hallucinations dropped considerably. Now, Vapi still does exceed retail in customization. So if you are really great with Python, you can actually build a lot more robust agents using Vapi as opposed to retail. Blocks is the competitor to these multi-state agents. But at the current time, and this is literally from today, you can see that their software developer has said that the blocks are not ready for production or development use. So I do think that Vapi will introduce this and it probably will be great. And at that point, it might be worth reconsidering which agent to use. But at this current point in time, I have made the switch to retail as a bonus gift. Since you have watched to the end of this video, I have this super simple two-step make automation that's available in my community, no code nation, completely for free. So all you need to do, import this automation. So you just click right down here, you go import blueprint, and then you just have to come in here, enter in your API key from retail. And so you can get that just by signing up here, hitting API keys, and then you'll have your secret key. So just go ahead and copy that, drop it here into your API key, and then everything else will be set up. You just need to right click hit run this module only, and then it's going to clone this multi-prompt electrician agent directly into your account. So you can start testing and messing around with it. And this agent is set up to answer any typical questions, schedule appointments, as well as book callbacks. So if you did get value out of this, I would greatly appreciate a subscribe. It allows me to continue making videos like this for you for free. If you're a business looking to integrate voice agents, then you can book a call down below or if you're just someone looking to learn more about AI and voice agents and no-code automations, then I look forward to seeing what you contribute inside the No-Code Nation. And with that being said, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.